YouTube family. So this is my second video that I'm making that's a little bit more consistent with than what I've done before in the past. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know like super inconsistent with YouTube. Hella inconsistent. And why am I inconsistent? It's because I don't know what to talk about. And I feel like that's what every content creator, I feel like that's a lot of overthinking when it comes to social media. Um, and I think we get so caught up in like what's gonna entertain the people but I've realized that when I wasn't taking social media so seriously, that's when a lot of people were enjoying me. And so I'll kind of like want to get back to that. I want to get back to not taking social media so serious to the point where I'm feeling like I can't put content out unless it's organized. And what I mean by organized is like, you know, it's a certain subject, a certain way of editing, like a certain look, the aesthetic that I have, like my bed is junky right now. <laughs> like I have my camera equipment you know like i'm in my bedroom right now you know i'm chilling so uh i'm realizing that i am tired of being afraid of doing what i want to do social media is what i'm choosing to do and a lot of the reason why i'm choosing to do social media is because like i just want to help people i'm going to help people i also want to share my journey i'm in college right now like i told you guys and because i'm in college I'm full-time student right now I'm taking five classes and I work as well and I know that there's a financial gain while being on social media right like there are ways of making my life not only easier with going to school and being on social media but it's also more pleasurable than sitting in front of like a job right now you know I'm tired of working nine to fives because it's not like I don't want to work a nine to five it's more so of when I work a nine to five I swear like it's it's always something it's always something and people can say well maybe it's just you and I think for a while it probably was me because I was raised in such a very strict household and very just like blunt straightforward household to the point where um you know we didn't take any bull crap like we didn't tolerate mess so we were just very straightforward people and i feel like i also didn't know how to have fun i didn't know how to just like relax and chill like i took everything super seriously and i think i still have that but i know that i've worked on myself so much also really quick if you hear that noise that's my dog she's playing right now with her bone so she's very loud so that's her anywho um, but I know that I've worked on myself a lot. So while working on myself, I've learned how to calm down. But I also noticed that when you work with people, people don't like you to be honest. I'm a very honest, straightforward person. Like I'm so honest to the point where it can make people feel uncomfortable. And I think I have like a little bit of autism. <laughs> Because like I don't understand why honesty offends people so much. Like I don't understand that. I don't get why honesty hurts people's feelings. I don't understand why honesty makes people feel uncomfortable. I don't know why honesty is so hard for people to face. Like I don't understand that. I'm a person like if you give me something honest and real, I can take that and kind of take it back and be like, okay, like, okay, thank you for telling me that. How can I work on that? That's not how people are. People are just like, <gasps> Oh, no one's ever told me that. So you're the problem because you're the first person to tell me that. I'm like, I'm the only one that's gonna keep it a buck with you. And people act like they like honesty until they really don't. <laughs> people are like, yes, I'm pretty honest. Like I want people to be honest with me. And then when people are honest with you, it's like, oh, you're such a bitch. It's like, I'm not. Like, I'm just being real with you. And me being real is my opinion, of course. Like anybody being honest with you is their opinion, right? If I'm saying like, oh, you're always late, like you're never on time, like you, you're very inconsiderate, that's my opinion, right? But there could be other factors that could be creating you to be late, never on time. It could be a psychological thing. Every time someone gives an opinion about you, everyone states facts about you, it's because that's how I see it. That's my opinion on it. Um, and it's never facts, right? So anyways, that's just on a whole deeper level. That's I think that's like my self-diagnosed autism is coming in because I get super deep with subjects. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just want to be able to create the platform that I've always wanted to create it, create and not being afraid to like even right now, like I'm not going to edit this video in any way, shape or form. 
my dog is making a lot of noise this is reality right like if you have pets it's reality i have cat hair on me dog hair on me that is reality my bed is not always going to be clean it's partially made but it's not always going to be clean so i just want to be able to create a space for me or just people to listen to be able to like talk about deep subjects and kind of get things off my mind that can help other people because i feel like that's what social media is missing like authenticity people are so commercial people are just like camera ready all the time i gotta put my makeup on i gotta do my hair i gotta put this outfit on in order to look cute so i'm choosing not to be that i'm choosing to you know be my authentic self so even with that being said like there's a lot of things that i want to talk to you guys about like my transition from getting my degree like i'm in school right now i'm getting my associates guys like i'm 33 years old get finally getting an associate's degree it's crazy right like that's embarrassing that's embarrassing but that's also my journey it's not that i it's not that i i never liked school point blank period and the reason why i never liked school is because school was never easy for me when i got home School was never easy for me to learn while I was in school. A lot of the cases because I feel when I was going to school growing up in Compton, California, I'm not gonna say that growing up in Compton is was a bad thing for me, but I just feel like the teachers didn't care. So it was almost like they were coming to work for a coming to work for a check, which wasn't much at all. They were dealing with these bad kids. I was not one of the bad kids, but you know, we had a lot of bad kids growing up or in school in general, right? Like, no matter where you grow up. Dealing with these bad kids in the hood, don't want to learn. We had to share books, guys. Like, we didn't even have our own books when we got to school. I remember being in elementary school, it had to be two people to a book. And a lot of the times we couldn't take the books home because kids wouldn't bring them back. We were short on supplies. There were times where we didn't even have pencils in class. We had like little small ones. We had to keep like keep sharpening those pencils. And we had like a pencil like tray to put it in. There were times where it was like a person over here had to use a pencil and then we had to wait for them to do their problem and we had to share a pencil. It was bad. Like where I went to school was really bad. So I don't feel like the Los Angeles school system was good in the 90s or early 2000s. It was terrible. Um, so because of that, school for me wasn't enjoyable. And then when I got home to do homework, like no one was there to help me. And you have the traditional black mom yelling at you while you're trying to understand. Two plus two is four. How freaking hard is that? You know, <laughs> the traditional black mom of just not trying to help. They're yelling and screaming at you. It was just so hard for me to learn. And I hated it. I freaking hated being in school. That's also another story for another time. Um, but with that being said, I'm just getting my degree that that's a journey. You know, my dating situation is a journey my interest what i want is a journey i was assaulted over the weekend that's another story um i was also assaulted last year in april that's another story so it's just a lot of things i do want to share but i just wanted to get this out first let you guys know what my intentions are for social media and like how often i just want to come to you guys i want to be able to build a platform where i don't have to be cookie cutter i want to build a platform where i don't have to be perfect and set up perfectly and have everything right i want to be able to have my community and this is who i am and you join my community because you're just you want to chill on the couch and you want to bundle up and you just want to cuddle and you just want to have a conversation i want to share book recs with you guys like i have tons of books here i have my kindle i just want to be able to just just share myself you know um Building relationships with people, family, friends, um, losing people in my life. Talking about that as well, because I just I blocked at least seven, at least five people, but I think it's like seven or eight. But I'm gonna say at least five people this year. One of which was one of my best friends. I had to just like stop that whole relationship. Um, I lost a person that I friend is a very fickle word for me to use but i guess i can call her my friend i guess i can because i feel like that would be fake of me to not say that she was my friend because i did consider her that 
Um, but I had to delete her and we're gonna definitely talk about that as well. I had to block her off my entire situation because of how she was acting. Um, relationships, I wanna talk about everything. So this is my journey. This is what we're going through and be on the lookout guys. Be on the lookout for things I'm gonna talk about. I'm picking up my phone right now because I started to put some uh, topics and everything together of what I wanna talk about. If there's topics that you guys want me to talk about, we can. But I also just wanted to come authentic, right? Like I wanted to be like an authentic presentation of like what's going on with me. And just like my diary. You know, my diary of my life. Baby, let me see. Uh-oh. I think she bit that thing a little bit too hard because I just saw some blood on the bone. Come here. Come here, mommy. Let me see. Come here. Let me see your teeth. Come here. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna do this on camera. Come here, mommy. Let's see. Let's see. I just saw some blood. Let me see. I don't know where it's coming from, mommy, but I don't want you bleeding. I don't want you hurting yourself, mommy. Are you okay? Okay, go play. But just stuff like that. Like, I don't want a lot of my material online to. I think I have to change that bone. Cause it just sounds so hard and just sounds like she's breaking her teeth at the same time and i understand it's a chew toy but like it would expense because if i gotta start getting extractions for her because she's breaking her teeth then it's going to be like to her demise and not to her like benefit so we're gonna have to figure that out because she loves that freaking bone anywho um so yeah like i was saying i just want to come authentically on here to share like what's going on i just want to be to be like one of those youtubers that just picks up the camera no edits and just talks you know uh so <laughs> excuse me uh be gonna look out for more content very soon and uh yeah the next video is gonna be starting my journey on youtube and just talking so if you're looking forward to that make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe down below don't expect a lot of edits and things guys just expect a page where you can just listen hear understand and to just you know, learn more about me but i love you guys you guys enjoy the rest of your day i have homework to do and i have to go to work in a little bit like i said i have five classes to take and there's not a lot of time for being on social media so i love y'all y'all be good and i'll see y'all later peace